up fools, how's it going? Today we're gonna talk about gear. Everybody knows gear is king. The better your gear, the better the filmmaker, right? Wrong. You might have noticed that there's many good filmmakers out there, me included, uh, who have great gear, maybe the best of the best, but they're still average till poor filmmakers. So now I just want to break down a little bit how important I think gear is. How much money you should spend on your gear, how much time you should spend learning your gear, or should you just forget about all of that and just focus on your education and experience? As a filmmaker who had to start from scratch when it comes to gear. So in the beginning I had to buy everything and obviously when you don't have money, if you don't make any money with filmmaking, it's very hard to spend money, like investing in yourself is what they call it. But everyone has to start somewhere. For me, my first camera was the 600D. It was a Canon camera, uh, I just had the kit lens and I was working with that for, for a while. I had no audio equipment because I didn't know that audio mattered. Now I know. See this little guy capturing my audio wirelessly. Pretty cool, huh? Anyways, while my equipment was growing, got better and better, also my experience got better. And eventually I went to film school, spent 30 grand on that. From the 600D, I upgraded to the 5D Mark III, also Canon. I had more lenses and my shots and films got better. But eventually I had to realize, hey, my films are not getting better anymore, but my equipment does, so what's wrong? And that's when I realized that when it comes to equipment, you reach a peak. You can only do so much with your gear. And then it really comes back to your creativity. So more gear, more problem, if you ask me. Look at me, for example. I have here two cameras. Like for like a no filmmaker person, those cameras look identical. On the screen, the shots also look kind of the same. So why would I spend $6,000 compared to $2,000? What's the difference? And now obviously I can be like, oh, this camera shoots 4K, 120 frames, this camera doesn't, this camera records 12 bit, this only eight and so on. But does that really matter? Does this camera make a movie better? Are my short films better now with this camera compared to that one? By the way, this is the FX3. This is the A7 III. I shot films like COVID-21 with it, um, Crosswords, great pieces of cinema if you ask me. And compared to the films I shot with that one, for example, my Sword Art Online video and so on, um, do those shots really look worse than these? I don't think so. Because in the end it really comes down to, to your creativity. How much can you make out of the cameras you use? And obviously if you want to make a short film and there's like certain shots you want to get but you don't have the gear for it for example uh, a crane shot or a drone shot over the city or something like that if you don't have a drone obviously you can shoot it but you can either rent a drone or a drone operator buy stock footage so there's always ways to get your footage if you really want it but how much money do you spend on that do you really have to spend two and a half thousand dollars compared to five hundred dollars for a drone do, do you really need that both of those drones shoot great footage okay this one is 6k this one is only 3k or 2k but in the end for youtube videos you can't see the difference friends and if you really shoot stuff with a big screen you don't buy your own equipment anyways because big productions they rent equipment for you you don't even need to buy it and then of course you need fancy software. I use Premiere, After Effects and, and, uh, and Blender. Uh, by the way, none of that is sponsored. Everything I say is my own opinion, but I do use all this fancy gear on, and to use this fancy software and to edit 4K or 6K footage, I need a very powerful computer. So I have to spend money on that too. But how much money should you really spend on your gear to make it worth it? And if you ask me, you should spend 10% of whatever you're making with filmmaking on your gear. Let's say you make $100,000 a year with filmmaking, so you should spend 10% of that on equipment, not more. So $10,000 a year you can spend on equipment. You can buy yourself a new camera, new lens, or a new, new computer, or all of it. And for example, the gear I have, the 
FX3, like $3,000. Uh, this lens, another $3,000, this is $6,000 here. This microphone, $500. The computer, $2,000. So basically, I, from one year of work, I could buy all of this gear, what I have here, if I made $100,000 a year. If you're a beginner and you don't make any money or just little money, let's say you make maybe $5,000 a year or $10,000 a year, then with $1,000, you can't really buy any equipment. You can't buy like the cheapest camera there is, the cheapest lens there is, and that's it. Then obviously in the beginning, you need to invest more than those 10%. So otherwise you, you won't get anything for it. How much should you spend at least? It really depends on what you're doing. When someone looks for a camera, the first question is always like, how much should I spend? It's like, it really depends on what you need. I mean, how much should you spend when you buy a car? Depends on what you want. I worked for Sony once and um, I was selling cameras and they, there was always the first question, how much should I spend for a camera? My question is, what do you want it for? Do you want to shoot weddings? Do you want to shoot vlogs? Do you want to shoot uh, movies? What, what is it? Because obviously you can use every camera for most scenarios, but you shouldn't. Because every single camera has a specific purpose. Like the FX3, for example, of course I can take pictures with it. Of course I can shoot, um, I don't know, vlogs with it. But vlogging with this camera, I've done it. It's not easy. You don't want to do that. It's it's way too heavy, way too chubby, it's way too big. Uh, there's better cameras for that. But for movies, for short films, this camera is great. Um, same with that, that one. This is the 7S III. It's a great vlogging camera because I, now I can have a flip screen. Because otherwise I would say this is a great vlogging camera, the um, A7 III, for example. But this doesn't have a flip screen, so I wouldn't be able to see myself. Which is a problem, because now I can check is the framing right, is the exposure right. Okay, I can vlog. With that one, not so much. But that one is, again, pretty good for filmmaking. Shoots 4K, shoots uh, slow motion, 120 frames per second in full HD. Again, not sponsored by Sony, but could be Sony. So every camera has its purpose. I also could shoot weddings with this camera. I, sh I could shoot documentaries with this camera, but for that, there's also better cameras. Maybe like a broadcast camera. Or for movies, like, there's also better cameras, but more expensive, like the Reds or the, the new Red camera, which just came out. 8K, 120 frames and whatnot. Incredible numbers, sure. But I can also shoot a movie with that if I'm just a little more creative. And one more thing, are you gonna use this gear for other creators or clients that were, where you use your equipment for others or is it just for your own usage? This is something you have to figure out too because sometimes it's better to go with the gear everybody else is using because it's easier to match the colors and match their looks if you have the same gear they're using usually for their products. For example, I have a client who mostly uses Blackmagic cameras and I shoot with my camera too and then in post progression I have to kind of match the looks which is not always that easy. So it's in that case if you have many clients who use Blackmagic then I would go towards Blackmagic cameras for example which price wise they are very similar to the Sony cameras. But if you have clients who use mostly Canon cameras I would go with Canon but then you have to spend a little more money on the camera itself. The same camera like here from Canon would cost probably like $2,000 more. Same with the lens. But then again, gear is not king. But your creativity is, your experience, how well are you with your own equipment? How well are you with other people's equipment? How many movies have you seen? And all these things are way more important than what gear are you using? just to prove a point. I'm just gonna show two different scenes. One on my very first camera and the other one on my very new camera. Kind of similar scenarios, but then you can see which shots are better, which ones are not. I don't think the difference is that big, even though the footage is almost 10 years apart. So guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you learned something from my experience and it makes your life easier when you buy your equipment. And because when it comes to gear, people have different opinions, but everybody knows my opinion is the right one. 
and if you like the video make sure to like it subscribe if you aren't already and make sure to also subscribe to infant cinema because this is where i upload my short films so make sure to subscribe to that too and see you in the next video